wiring a single phase contactor. And what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna use this six amp as a control circuit, and then we're going to switch it by this light switch, what is rated at six amps. So the six amp control circuit, and then the 16 amp circuit, which will control via the contactor, will go out and turn this heater on. And this is what contactors are commonly used for to be able to switch loads that are rated higher than the load that you've got, if you know what I mean. So to start with, we want to wire the supply for this heater. Basically, we're gonna wire that in 2.5, so that will be enough for the 16 amp RCBO. And then the six amp circuit, we'll keep in there because we're gonna wire it through the contactor and we're just gonna wire a switch Switch live and a permanent live to the switch back into the consumer unit. So then what we've done here is just wired a live and a permanent live down to the switch so that can switch the supply. And then your 2.5 cable, which goes all the way along, which will be the socket for the heater. So we've wired the 2.5 straight into the outgoing supply of the contactor. And then the light switch, the permanent live, will go into the RCBO and the switch live will go into A2 of the contactor. So then the neutral from the lighting, uh, the 6 amp MCB RCBO goes into A1 of the contactor. And basically from the outgoing side of the RCBO, which will be the six, 16 amp circuit, will go into the top of the contactor. And obviously the outgoing goes to the socket, which is gonna be for the heater. So let's turn it on. Each circuit is still protected, more sugar, by its RCBO. And then now, all we'll use is this switch to switch on the heater. So this contactor is switching a bigger load than what this switch is rated for. So just to recap, the live and neutral go in to one and three and then come out on two and four. And then a neutral from the controlling circuit to A1 and the switch live goes into A2. Contact us. Piece of piss.